Okay. I have another uh, key five, cut five. Do it the exact same way. Uh, I actually have the list written out. So. Oh, okay, so you have the list written out. Key yeah. five, and cut I, five. I tried to make this one very difficult for you. Okay. Key five, cut five. This is food or is this uh, people I'd like to have sex with? Actors. Watch their work. Just listen to the list. Okay. Fafa, Kamal, Big B, Manoj, Pankaj, Irfan, Nasir, Mahmoudi, Mohanlal, Amir Khan. Um, hold on. Let me see if I can find this. <laughs> Keep five, cut five. Go. What? Keep five, cut five. <sighs> Who are you keeping first? But one I, more time. I, I'm gonna. Here. I'm gonna write. I'll write this down while you're while you're doing this. Fafa. Okay. Let me see your list. Oh my goodness. Okay. So. Keep five, cut five. Mm -hmm. Fafa. Right. Kamal. Big B. Mano Big B. Yeah. Manoj. Pankaj. Oof. Irfan. Nasir. Mahmoudi. Mohanlal. Amir Khan. Who's you keeping first? <sighs> oh, who, who do you think I'm keeping first? That's a no-brainer. Irfan. Irfan Khan. Okay. Um, now, who are you cutting? Uh, hold on. I'll tell you in a second here. Uh, I specifically ow. made this difficult for you. <laughs> okay, I've already selected him. I need to select two more. Um, oh, damn it. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is hard. <laughs> I know. Oh, I hate you. <laughs> okay, the first three I'm keeping are earphones. No. Fun. You're keeping earphones. Who are you cutting? Yeah. Um, That's how the game goes. Okay, Mohanlal. Oh, my God. Yeah, I All know. Right. I know. Uh, it's going to be the way with everybody. Who are you keeping next? Amir Khan. You're keeping Amir Khan. Are you kidding out me? Out of all these thespians. Are you kidding out me? Out of all these thespians. You think I'm you're not. You're keeping Amir? You think I'm not going to watch his heartfelt, oh humanly God. touching films like Three Idiots. Oh, my God. PK. Okay. Stars. All right. So you're keeping. Rung de Basanti. You're keeping Amir. Who's your next cut? Lao Singh Chada. Yes, I include that because all you who boycotted it are really annoying. Who are you cutting? I just did. No. So, oh, after that? Yeah, after that. Uh, Even Amir and Irfan, you've cut Mohanlal. Right. <laughs> this sucks. <sighs> this really sucks. Nasir. Ooh! <laughs> Yep. Oh, daggers. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> All right. Who's your next keep? Mamoudi. Okay. So we got Irfan Mamoudi. He has Amir's. leapt to the top for me as far as um, I, I want to see his films so badly. Um, okay. And the Mamouts. Uh, who's who's your next cut? Well, I have, cut. Choose, <laughs> I have to choose. I have to choose. Well, I know. <laughs> I know. And now I have to choose, you know, I have to wonder, am I going to keep between these two? Who would I keep yeah. between but who's your next Pankaj cut? or yeah. Manoj? Who's your next cut? Big B. Oh! I cut, I cut Big B. Oh, your cuts are... Well, if he, had, if he had been a dosed, I might feel a little different. But Pankaj and Manoj you're, you're, are dosties. I just want to read out your cuts real quick. Mohan... <laughs> Yeah. Nasir yeah. and Amatak Bakchan. Correct. Oh, your cuts. Correct. Whoa. Yeah. All right, who's your next keep? Um, oh, I hadn't I hadn't chosen that yet. Um oh. Kamal. You're keeping Kamal. Yeah. yeah keeping Kamal. Yeah. So we got Irfan, Mamoudi, Kamal, and Amir currently. Who's your next cut? Little <laughs> son. Yeah, it's going to come down to who am I going to cut between yep. Manoj or Pankaj.
I'm gonna cut Manoj. Oh! And I'm gonna keep Pankaj for two reasons. But the primary reason is, you know what the primary reason for that is, even though he's a dosty and I love Dose. his work and I'm gonna watch everything he's ever done? So you're cutting Manoj. Yeah, I, the whole fake abs thing didn't sit well with me at all. <laughs> and so your yeah. last keep is- Yeah, the fake abs your, thing. Your last keep is- Pankaj Tripathi. And then who's the, who's the final cut there? Let me see. I cut Mahanal Nasir, Big B, Manoj. Fafa. Oh, yeah. Fafa's gone. I missed it because Fafa was in bold. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. So, hold on. You're cutting Fafa. Yeah. Nasir, you can do what you're doing with Big every B, single one of those names on the list. Manoj. Yeah. And Mohanlo. Yeah. And I'm keeping Kamal Hassan. I'm keeping Mamoudi. Don't worry, everybody. He's just cutting some of the greatest artists. They're all of great. All you time. But wipe. Wow, Rick is canceled. Josh. Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction. I'm Corbin. Hot takes by Corbin you Miles. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you to social your Patreon. Follow us to the account. Subscribe, like, but Fafa too. I would have chosen him if he was already a. a, 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 a we don't know the word. That's yet. ridiculous. <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, I know. Um, <laughs> my word. <laughs> mm, that's the most ridiculousness I've ever heard. No, it's not. It is. You've heard far more ridiculous. No, I've never heard a more ridiculous list. <laughs> Eddie, we got a cricket video. It's called cherry picking. How the new ball swings. Ooh. My new ball swings kind of to the left. I didn't know you got a new ball. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. How's your wife think about uh, that? It's today, weird with three, I've heard. This is kind of a little overview of, I guess, the new ball of from cricket. I think we saw one video about We did the new see ball. that, how the new ball came into play. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, yeah very interesting. Uh, so here we go. Maintain the shine, blood, sweat, and tears. Bowlers make use of everything at their disposal. Follow this old adage. To keep one side shiny, allow the other to scuff up and shape the ball past the unsuspecting bat. However, it is blatantly obvious that it's the new ball that swings the most. But hang on. With two shiny sides and no surface contrast, how can the new ball possibly swing? Waited, or because they scuff From it up Glenn McGraw immediately. To Mohammed Shami. Bowlers renowned for their perfectly straight seams rarely move the ball in the air. Upon closer examination, we see that the ball's orientation and the airflow around it are symmetrical, resulting in negligible lateral movement. At the same time, it creates a region of airflow separation behind the ball called the wake. Also symmetrical, confirming the ball's resultant path a no swing delivery. However, when a swing bowler steams in with the new ball in hand, they release the ball with an angled seam to generate asymmetry. So that once the airflow splits on the non seam side, there is a smooth flow of air or laminar flow. On the seam side, however, the seam trips the airflow into a chaotic or high-energy turbulent flow, which helps the airflow adhere to the surface, leading to late separation. This asymmetry, as you can see, results in a wake deflected towards the left, implying that the ball experiences a force in the opposite direction, an outswinger to the left-handed batter. To understand this, imagine a jetpack with two outlet nozzles. Now, if the left nozzle is fired, which way do you think the jetpack will launch itself? To the right. You guessed it, to the right. Similarly, angling the seam in the opposite direction results in an in-swinger to the left-handed batter. In a nutshell, the new ball swings opposite to the side of early separation. And this is how bowlers use the inherent seam of the ball to make it hoop around corners, making life rather difficult at the top of the order. 
Which current bowler is the best exponent of new ball swing? Comment below and when stay tuned. Oh, yeah, I thought it was that was quick. Uh, when uh, when did they switch? Just recently, right? Uh, recently, this as in the last ago. few years, I think. Um, Do is this as much of a factor in baseball? I because I feel like it's mostly like it's not a lot of the ball physics. Maybe it is. Oh, it's a it's, it's hugely. But I thought it was more of, of how they're releasing and holding. But that's more. why it, it, it's it is how how you grip the ball and what you do upon release is with your hand and with your wrist is all dependent upon how you're holding the seams. Yeah. So that's why there's two seam fastballs and four seam fastballs. They're both fastballs. They're both gripped the same way. But the difference is the wind resistance and what you get and the movement yeah. you get. Same thing with when you're the but grip on a, a curveball or a slider. The baseball just doesn't hit the ground, obviously. Correct. It's all, but the, the movements are, this is why if you throw a knuckleball, you get wobble in the air and they're unpredictable because they're they just, you don't know where they're going to go. And very few ball players, I, it's a sad thing. I wish more ball players threw a knuckleball, especially as a changeup. My my dad and I always threw knuckleballs as a changeup. Um but yeah, seams are a, are hugely the, the same principles behind the physics is is in play. The only difference is they don't have an idea of what they're going to be doing with ricochet, you know, off the ground. That's not part of the element with yeah. with baseball at all. But yeah, the grip and the dynamics of going through the air is what causes the ball to yeah. to curve or to slide or to cut. So so interesting. And the amount of different. One of the strangest pitches for me, and it's just because of the terminology, is a knuckle curve because it, it doesn't make sense because a knuckleball has no rotation. A curveball has tremendous rotation. It's just the grip. There's there's a way you can throw a curveball where you're holding it this way with the, the, the seams, but then you can grip it with one knuckle holding it, and and they're hard. That's why, that's why if you have a pitcher who has three or four different pitches, that's unusual. There's a lot of guys like, who are just power pitchers and have an off-speed pitch. Kershaw's pretty much a power pitcher. He's got three really strong pitches, but there's some guys who have four or five really good pitches, which is unusual. Insane. Yeah, Nolan Ryan was a power pitcher. He had he had a fastball and he had a breaking ball. It was such a different game back in the day, though. Yeah. Well, have I you seen know, any... I don't even know if he'd be asked to do all that. Ha have you seen any of the, the, the footage of check swings on Sandy Koufax? So that was before check swings were if the bat comes across the front of the plate, it's a strike. And yeah. you ask the umpires because you can't tell from behind the plate. It basically was a full swing meant you had completely gone around. So you're watching these guys check and they're fully come around to here. I mean, the bat is facing right field and the umpires. Nope. He checked his swing. So for Sandy Koufax, that was it. That was not a strike, even though the bat came all the way around the face in the dugout. It was amazing. Anyway, that I, that was a really good video with the graphics. I wish there was more. Yeah, uh, yeah. like that. That if was there's really good. More, uh, informational videos about cricket. Obviously, please send them to us. Obviously, we love a good cricket video. We do. Uh, let us know down below. Josh!